Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. Today I'm in the restaurant and I'm going to cook a fantastic recipe, the Kabuli Pilau. It is a national staple of Afghanistan and I'm going to reveal some um, really secret recipes for you guys to enjoy. From the oils to the cuts of meat to the rice. If you get these uh, few elements correct, you're going to have the most delicious uh, Kabuli Pilau ever. So without further ado, let me show you. Now, I've got this lamb shank. Now, to have a fantastic kabuli pilau, you need to cook with lamb shank because it has nice um, gelatinous, fatty um, flavors which come out and they're from the bone marrow, which gives it a phenomenal flavor and obviously the soft um, lamb. So it's gonna be gorgeous in flavor. Also, we're using, this is the cellar rice this is different from the basmati rice and this is um, extra long and is, it's just almost like pasta sort of. So with this meat, uh, the kabuli pilau is going to be amazing in flavour. So we're going to start cooking it shortly. So I went to the local butchers. This was about 2 kg, 3 uh, pieces of lamb shank, very tender and succulent and also he cut it to the right size that I wanted. You can't make it too small nor too big. Right ladies and gentlemen, the secret to this recipe is not pure butter ghee, vegetable ghee or oil, it's actually sesame oil. So have a look at this. This is very nutty and very flavoursome. So if you want to get a proper Afghani pilau, you must use sesame oil. I'm cooking 2 kg, so I'm going to need a fair bit of oil because um, the Afghani pilau is very greasy in order to get the flavour. So we're going to use about 350 to 400 um, mils of sesame oil. Beautiful. Oil is heated up. This is free medium sized onion. Right, whilst cooking the kabuli pilau, the orders are coming in, so I'm having to do both at the same time. But the guys are going to enjoy a lovely kabuli pilau. And if you enjoy my uh, cooking, guys, and if you enjoy the vlogs, uh, support me by clicking the like button and make a couple of comments. And if you want to see any recipes and so on, I do enjoy doing them whenever I get the chance. So share the love and uh, subscribe to this humble little channel of mine of Latif's Inspired. Right ladies and gentlemen, the oil's slightly browning up, then I'm going to add the meat. Right, this is the wonderful lamb shank, so this is the leg of lamb with the bones and everything that goes in. With the so when you put it into the oil, it's going to fry the outside, seal the lamb and hopefully make this a wonderful dish. And I want the, to draw out all the moisture from the lamb as well. And I'm going to put the salt in shortly. Right guys, I'm going to add the salt, so if you're using a tablespoon, one, two, about two tablespoon I would say for the meat and two tablespoon for the rice, so there's going to be rice there as well. So there you go, hopefully that should be enough. Right, I'm going to add some green chilies. Um, Afghani restaurants don't add green chilies. I'm adding it because I want to have a nice little flavour. So a handful of green chilies just going in. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm adding some tomatoes. Um, again, if you go to the authentic recipe, not many do. I like that sort of flavour. So I've just cut it in half and just uh, taken out the eye because it's going to be easy for me to take out the uh, skin. So you don't want little uh, tomato skins floating about in the pilau rice. 
So they go in. This is going to create a wonderful little flavour. So eight to ten tomatoes gone into here, ladies and gentlemen. So I've nicked the tandoori chef's garlic. So basically, he puts this on the garlic naan. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add one budakha, two, three, four tablespoon of garlic. Now, authentic uh, recipe, they, they'll add maybe a few cloves of garlic, that's it. I like that garlic flavor and I've added it in now. It's going to sort of dissolve into this lovely sauce and I'm going to create a fantastic lamb stock, which is called the yakhni. So it's going to be hopefully a fantastic in flavor. And if you follow it, add the green chilies and the tomatoes and the garlic, you're going to have a very flavorful kabuli pilau. So this kabuli pilau, the flavor comes from the lamb or the meat, whichever you use. There isn't no spice going in until the end. So basically I'm getting the flavor from the salt and the, the actual meat. So you need to get a really good quality cut of meat. I mean, look at this. Look at that bone marrow. This is going to create a wonderful flavor. Look at that. Fantastic juices. Let me show you this piece. Yeah. So all it's doing is frying, cooking away in its own juice and that lovely sesame oil. So again, you have to get some good quality sesame oil in order to get the flavor. Don't go for the ghee. They use a lot of ghee in most of the recipes. Don't use ghee. This is different. This is not your biryani or uh, a fulab. <laughs> This is a proper Afghani kabuli pilau. Right, I'm going to fish out the skins from the tomato. From where? Kalar shundoroni. The natural kalar shundoroni, nani? Tomato skin to be done, nani? Oh, yeah, skin. Yes. Oh, one more. Spice is spice now. It's not spice now. It's spice. Tell salt and good quality meat. Oh, fatter spice smell it. Yeah. Tell or smell it. Spice. Yeah. Smell That's right. I have to end it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right, the kabuli pilau is cooking away, cleaned up the kitchen slightly and having a little snack of uh, kima cheese naan bread. This is fantastic, uh, quite popular in the restaurant as well. A very greasy, nice cheese on top. Look at that. Wonderful, spicy um, kima with melted cheddar cheese. It is delicious. Show it off more. <laughs> Very cheesy. Fantastic flavor. Look at that chemo. Lovely. Can't beat a chemo cheese none. Better than pizza. Right, this is the cellar rice, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I've washed, uh, washed this uh, when I turned the gas on and it's soaking in hot water. It's actually absorbed quite a lot of that hot water within 30 minutes. Um, and then I'm gonna strain it, add it to the rice, uh, add it to the sort of the lamb, and it's gonna turn into that wonderful kabuli pilau. Right, ladies and gentlemen, if you can see, if you can see, it's, it's, all, it's very steaming, obviously. There you go, the tomatoes and the onions and everything's sort of been mushy, that's the chilies. And it's been a good, um, I would say about half an hour cooking away. And now I'm going to add hot boiling water. I would say there's probably a couple of pints of water just gone in. 
if, if I had a pressure cooker, it would have been easier and quicker, but unfortunately I don't. So this is going to have to cook away. We're going to cook this. I'm going to add a bit more water and this needs cooking at least one hour, one hour and a half for the lamb to soften up. If, if I can, I'll probably cook it for a little bit longer, but I'll judge it to the correctness. So let me put a lid on and put some more boiling water on the kettle while I make the rest of the spices. I need to, I wish I, I, wish I had my granite uh, pestle and mortar, but I have the stainless steel one to help me. So I've got uh, some cardamom. So I'm just gonna smash it until uh, the pods come out. And now the outer parts I'm gonna sort of throw away. This is gonna build a lovely aromatic flavor and fragrance. Um, this is, I would say, one of my little secret tips. And I'm gonna add some cumin as well. Right, these are all the outer parts of the cardamom and we're just gonna use the pods. I'm gonna try to smash this a little bit more. Beautiful. I'm not gonna mess about with it anymore. That's probably about just less than a teaspoon, a tablespoon, sorry. There you go. I'm gonna add some more water. That was boiling water, as you can see, it's boiling away. Now, I want that to reduce in half. So I'm gonna give it a good one hour from now, hopefully. So let that cook away, got it? Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna julienne some carrots. Normally, on the Afghan pilau, they would fry it on the side, just before on the same oil or something. I don't like that, it's too greasy. So it's already a very greasy dish. So the julienne of carrots are ready and the raisins are ready. Now what the Afghanis do, they normally fry this uh, first and then add it to uh, the kabuli pilau or sort of keep it separate and add it when they're serving it. I like to add it towards the end um, and it also brings out the flavor. So we leave this towards the end. I've got some spices ready and I'm going to add it towards the end and I'll tell you what they are shortly. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been about a good half an hour boiling away. The water's reducing. It's becoming nice and thick. It needs to soften up a little bit more. We're getting there.
right, ladies and gentlemen. This smells gorgeous, looks gorgeous, and the lamb has been cooking for about an hour. I thought I might need about an hour and a half, but this is looking scrumptious. Always oh, a I was like, lamb to like a soft figure, isn't it? What the soft figure, isn't it? Oh, fantastic, yeah? So this is nice and soft. It's only taking me one hour. But mind you, ladies and gentlemen, this is in a restaurant burner, so the power is very strong. Oh, look at that. This is gorgeous. Lovely bit of fat. And this is how I wanted the sauce to become. So all that tomato, onions, garlic has dissolved. Oh, wonderful. Now, this rice actually been soaked in this water for a good hour, just about an hour I would say. So you need about half an hour at least. So I'm gonna put the rice in now. You got it? Bismillah. So the rice has gone in. Give it a slight little mix, then we're gonna add some water. Mind you, this has been soaking in the hot water for about one hour. So there's, now I'm gonna add the water, bismillah. So ladies and gentlemen, the rice should be just about a couple of centimeters under the water. So he's giving it a mix. This is boiling hot water, so be careful. There you go, yep. This is perfect. So just about under two centimeters. I think that's perfect, so does my colleague. Now, uh, the carrots normally need to be fried, as I said, but I like it as it is like this. So I'm just gonna add it in. With, from the heat, it should cook wonderfully. And this is some raisins going in, so just over a handful. There you go. Crank up the heat. There you go. And now we're gonna wait for the water, uh, for the rice to absorb majority of the water, and then we're gonna add the spices. Put the lid on. Yep, the heat is on a high heat and come back to it in about five minutes. Yep. Having a little break with a strawberry milkshake. Righty ho, let's check. Oh, look at that, mama. Does it look nice? Yeah, it looks tall. So. Shoulder yeah. workout. Yep. Slightly the starch is at the bottom, but it's perfectly fine. It's no problem. Now that water has absorbed it and we caught it just in time. Now you're yourself. And now we're gonna add the spices. This is gonna lift it. So as I said at the beginning, this is the uh, cardamom pods just been smashed. This is about one tablespoon or just less, one good tablespoon of black pepper and cumin, one tablespoon of cumin or just slightly a little bit more. So this goes in nothing else and now give it a final stir i'm gonna put it back on the slow heat while i'm stirring and then we're gonna put it into the oven oh the smell the fragrance is wonderful Boil it up. Seal it up. 
Now, if you don't have a big, massive oven like we do, get one of these, invest in this, this tava, and basically whack it on and put the just on top. So what this does is distributes the heat evenly so it doesn't catch at the bottom and it cooks properly. So we've got this ready, sealed up with foil paper. The oven's heated. It's got a nice waft of heat coming up. Bismillah. There you go. And now it's going to be in there for a good about 15, 20 minutes. And then we're going to turn it off and leave it to rest for a good 15, 20 minutes before we open it up. Now I'm praying it's going to be nice and individually cooked. So I can't wait to see this amazing pillar rice. making a dye to go with the cover of the pillar. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a side dish, lentils, just simple subtle spices. Now this is ready, it's still whole. I've had only 10 minutes to cook this, because it's been really busy. But now I think this is ready for our side dish. Wonderful, turn the gas off. And now, moment of truth, let's get the Kabuli pilaw out. So let's check this out. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Check this out. <laughs> this is absolutely gorgeous. All right, fantastic. So look, check this. Yo, wicked, wicked, yeah? Oh, look at the lamb. Look at the lamb, what a colour. Oh, voila. Oh my God. So it's been in the oven for a good 20 minutes. And then I just left it there for a good half an hour. Oh my God, look at that meat, look at that meat. Yo, yo, this is what I'm talking about. Look how soft and tender that is. Fantastical. Now this is all the hard work and effort with a little bit of twist so it's not too greasy with the carrots. So you doing it with some fried or in a carrot, nice and healthy style. So you get the flavour of the carrot and the kismis, which is the raisins. Look at that, look at that. Zoom into this mama. What are you doing? Yeah, check this. How does it look? Yeah, top notch. Fantastic. Now we're going to taste this and then soon we're going to go to an in, uh, Afghani restaurant in Tooting uh, called Namak Mendi. We've been, um, I've selected that restaurant to go and try the Kabuli Pilau and some of the authentic Afghan food. Now this is my take on it and then we're going to sit down and have a fantastic meal. Well, it would sit down and do it. Yeah? Oh, boy, we're sharp, too. So this is the takeaway for Salim. He's been requested this for a couple of weeks. Can't wait to get my hands on this. I had a test the other week. It's really nice. So looking forward, looking forward to it. One for me, one for the wife. <laughs> Hopefully Salim's going to enjoy this and we're going to try it out shortly. Salad. Right, it's a big fat meal here. It's been cooking away for quite a while. Let's check it out. 
بسم الله fantastic flavor and look at the lamb let me show you the lamb there you go it's very hot it's breaking away nice and soft kabuli pilau if you enjoyed this recipe don't forget to like share and subscribe for more fantastic videos that latif's inspired see you soon Myself. What a wonderful world.